Okay, what I thought we'd talk about today is uh, radio robots or communication robots. You have other uh, types of communication robots, like I uh, have a whole bunch of telephone robots out here somewhere. And then, of course, there's the robots that have the Morse code keys on them and, and intercom robots. But here I just walked around and grabbed the first uh, radio robots that I saw. I'm sure I've got more. I just didn't spend a whole lot of time looking other than just walking around and grabbing. And uh, in most cases, these uh, robots... Let's move in uh, maybe closer. ...are going to be on the AM radio dial which out here in the sticks where I live we don't get AM radio very well and inside the hut which is metal clad you're not going to get any AM radio you'll just get static but um, some of them have boxes some of them don't maybe I better pull back more maybe I better stay pulled back and just grab the ones we want to talk about so this one this one just says robot on the front and you can tell by the dial that it's AM. You've got your volume. You put your battery in there. I don't see any other information on it. So without the box I can't tell you anything more about it. I don't even know if I uh, bought this loose or whether it had a box. Um, radio robot is rather dusty so I would say that this was probably something I picked up at either the garage sale or to swap meet. Can't see. Oh, I got something back here. The two knobs are on the side. Here's your volume. Here's your tuning. It's definitely in the AM range, and it does say something here on the back. Realistic. So it must have been a Radio Shack um, toy at one time. Radio Bot. Uh, back here behind it. We've got this cool star command, I am for you, sing along, AM band, robot radio with microphone and amplifier. So this particular robot comes with a microphone, plugs in the back, here's your AM radio control, your dial, your tuning, and um, in the back it says star command. And it looks like kind of a broken jack, but it's still plugged in on the microphone. It's where the 9-volt battery would go. Let's take a look at the box. It's got nice chrome deers. Manufactured in Hong Kong. Stark Man. Let's see if there's anything on the side here that's different. end flap. Back looks the same as the front. Hear your voice through the loudspeakers. Your singer talked on the microphone when the radio was turned on. Eyes are synchronized to light up and pulsate to the sound of the radio. So there you have it. Let's put that guy back up here out of the way so we have enough room for everything. Don't fall, please. Here we have the uh, alien robot. Let's look at this box first, see if there's anything on there. It says Kingsford. For all ages, Star Force. Now here we have some controls. Movable arms, arm off volume, tuning control, battery compartment. Apparently it was uh, picked up at a Toys R Us, or I could have picked it up at a garage sale and somebody has picked it up at a Toys R Us. And here's the little guy right here. You've got your on, off, and volume here, and you have your tuning knob up here. Battery compartment on the back. It doesn't say uh, anything else on there but gore. Um, Mr. DJ, Tommy, Tommy. Probably have the box for that somewhere, but I saw it sitting there and I figured, well, what the heck? It has both AM and FM. And of course, the thing about the Mr. DJ is it moves its mouth and stuff with uh, with audio. About 200 miles away, that has the same 
So I was able to get a little bit of FM out here. So Mr. DJ still works at the antenna back here. You select uh, AM or FM on and off. In the bottom, uh, there's a 9 volt battery and two C cell batteries. Line input. So, oh, hey, you could plug your MP3 player into there and uh, get some things going. Looks like uh, some rockers on the bottom of the feet. So maybe if you had a better signal or something, you could get this uh, get this guy hopping and rocking. I got a feeling it has more functions other than just the mouth movement we were seeing. I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I'm not getting much of a signal here, so I can't do much more than what you just saw. Another uh, Stark man. I am one. Nine volt battery in the back. Got your tuning and volume control. Got the box here. Starkman recommended uh, face glows with pulsating light synchronized to sound of radio. don't see any other information that uh, would be of any help. It's uh, AM. He might fall. I'm going to set him down over here. Um, this one is, well, this, actually I've got a piece of paper stuck between his legs here. This is definitely just say by the amount of dust and dirt on it, a uh, swap meet find. Oh, uh, there's some back here. Star Command. The camera should be able to blow it up bigger. It's hard to see when it's molded into the plastic. Well, it's hard for me to see anything these days. 1977? Is that what that says? I'll have to look back at the video afterwards. 9 volt battery, definitely a AM radio, and here's this little booklet that was tucked between his legs. Star Command Instructions. Let me read if there's anything here we need. Our manufactured with power solid state circuit, AM broadcast band. Uh, not only features flashing LED as a space alert, What's distinctive design makes it a practical item for every child's room. Preparation, insert the battery, blah, blah, blah. Turn the volume controller, just that. It really doesn't say much of anything printed in Hong Kong. In case you would like to uh, read it all for yourself, you can use the pause. So, a fairly worthless, but at least original and intact uh, set of instructions that were tucked in between his legs. Here's a uh, IR12. Let's look in the battery box and see if that's just all yellow. Huh? It's, uh, it's yellow plastic. I mean, it could have been white that it just yellowed with UV. I've seen that before, but it's not. And we got this little guy here. It says Vanity Fair, Hong Kong. You can see where the 9 volt battery goes. Definitely a swap meet garage sale find. Got your AM, FM tuning. I don't see any other information on here that's going to help us. I mean, we know it was uh, Hong Kong. We know that the front is yellowing from UV because it used to be all white. Speakers in the top. That's all we know about it. It's a robot radio. Um, this guy. This guy here is both a uh, radio and an alarm clock. I have so many robot clocks that I... 
Wasn't sure whether I should have thrown it in here or kept it the other, but now all the other clocks are also radios. So you've got your tuning dial here, and by the dial I can see that it's just AM. So you've got your on off, of course your clock functions. At least it has a wall wart to run it since it's a clock. Headphone jack, they call it earphone adapter, made in Hong Kong. I don't see a date or anything like that. Creature one. But um, there we have it. Here's a little lineup of how many did we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and I'm sure there are probably more if I went out and took more time searching through the shelves, but there are some radio robots.